Hi there, welcome to our broadcast. My name is Denise Kranich, and I am the Senior Director of Development for the Medical Society of Virginia Foundation. I am so pleased to be here with Medical Advantage and our members. As you know, our Medical Society is here to support physicians and PAs through a number of avenues, including providing business support to the practices that serve our communities. The United States healthcare market is getting increasingly competitive with new entrants, strategic partnerships, and private equity backed growth. And the Virginia market is no different. I'm pleased to introduce our friends from Medical Advantage, a sponsor of the Medical Society of Virginia and a subsidiary of MedMal Insurance Carrier, the doctor's company. Today, Bill, Scott, and Shalimar from Medical Advantage will discuss medical practice marketing and the importance of having a strong online presence built specifically for patient acquisition. With that, I'll hand it over to Bill Riley, Medical Advantage's VP of Marketing. Take it away, Bill. All right, Denise, thank you so much and welcome everyone. Uh, if we could just go to the next slide, let me cover some housekeeping things quickly. Uh, number one is all the phone lines are currently muted. We are gonna pause for questions uh, towards the end. So if you look at your GoToWebinar window, you'll see a little chat bubble. Anytime you think of a question, please submit it in that uh, chat window. We will get to as many as we possibly can. Uh, the next slide, Riley, let me quickly introduce uh, Scott and, and Shalimar. Uh, Scott is one of our lead consultants. I think uh, it's fair to say Scott meets with more practices uh, around their marketing needs and opportunities than frankly anyone at our whole company. Uh, so Scott is going to share a little bit about uh, background, what we're seeing in, in the, the market today, the, the practices that we meet with, uh, Giving, giving us the voice of the customer, if you will. So Scott, welcome, thanks for joining. Thanks Bill, happy to be here. And then Shalimar, kind of the star of our show, uh, Shalimar is our Director of Operations and Service Delivery for all of our marketing engagements. Um, she leads an organization of folks um, that are, are supporting our clients every single day. So um, Shalimar will, will give us a little bit of background, a, a summary of how her team um, helps practices, and we'll, we'll get into some actual client examples. So uh, welcome, Shalimar. Thank you for joining today. Thanks for having me. Okay, um, Denise mentioned this, uh, Riley, if we could just go to the next slide real quick. Uh, briefly, but let me let me talk a little bit about Medical Advantage and iHealthSpot and how we fit into the bigger uh, picture. Um, so as, as Denise mentioned, we're part of the doctor's company or we fit under the same umbrella, the TDC group umbrella um, as, as T, uh, the doctor's company. I know any number of you on the line today have your MedMail coverage provided through TDC. Um, TDC has had a long-term partnership with, uh, with the Medical Society of Virginia and, and its members. Uh, we're very happy to, to be here today. Um, so we are the subsidiary not in the MPL space. We, we provide practice uh, transformation, practice consulting services historically in the lanes of the, the use of in-practice technology, uh, electronic health record system optimization and training is, is one big example. Uh, we provide help with clinical services, closing quality gaps in care, uh, uh, um, other, other services along those lines. Um, and, and the third leg on the stool is traditionally financial help, revenue cycle assistance, billing and coding consultation, uh, reducing the, the number of denied claims coming back from payers, you know, improving that, that whole workflow is, is another area. Um, so we're very excited to just earlier this year um, add practice marketing services to our, our portfolio. If we go to the next slide quickly, let me do a brief commercial about iHealthSpot. Um, I health spot interactive. So going back 18, maybe 24 months ago, this is all before COVID, uh, we saw a real increase in requests or opportunities coming from the practice clients that, that we were supporting um, in the area of marketing 
requests or marketing help in, in support of uh, practice, practice growth, especially as we were engaging more and more with private equity firms, um, engaging with our company to help accelerate the, the growth of practices within their portfolio. Um, so we, we started a project to, to look through the, the M&A lane of, of uh, you know, adding marketing capabilities to our portfolio. After a fairly lengthy process, a due diligence process, we're just so excited to confirm um, iHealthSpot. This was a, a transaction that closed earlier this spring. And um, now today, with, with the help of iHealthSpot, we're, we're able to include marketing services into the uh, our, our existing portfolio of services. So um, let's let's start to get into it. Um, and Scott, why don't why don't we start with you? Uh, as I mentioned at the at the start, maybe you could give us sort of the voice of the customer or what it is you're seeing as you're engaging with clients in the market today. Yeah, absolutely, Bill. Um, so I work directly with with a lot of the customers and clients um, that we have coming to Medical Advantage and Eye Health Spot, looking for these types of services. And as you mentioned, you know, Medical Advantage was seeing that trend already a year and a half, two years ago, before we went through everything with COVID, where practices were looking for assistance, looking for help with that digital footprint, that online digital marketing and web design services. And in today's ever-changing market and 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 the way that the the world is even more digital than it was before you know on the the back end of this covid thing that we're going through it's it's even more important to to make sure that you have your practice represented online and not just represented but represented in a way that positively benefits your practice you know 15 20 years ago if you had a website any kind of website that was fantastic you had an online presence it was almost like a billboard along the highway. People could see it and they could give you a call as long as they had your contact information. But today we definitely see that a website and your digital marketing is even more important to represent your practice, your brand, the services that you provide, the procedures that you do and everything like that to differentiate and set yourself apart from other physicians and other practices in your area. And the folks that I talk to come from you know, two different threads. Um, we see a lot of physicians and, and doctor's offices that already have an existing website, but perhaps are not quite getting everything out of it that they're hoping. They're not getting the traffic to the website that they wanted or that they're hoping to get. They're getting fewer appointment requests online or fewer phone calls, or maybe they're getting appointment requests and they're not sure how many they're getting. So, you know, they have websites that might have gotten a little bit more stagnant um, haven't been updated as regularly. Maybe they were managing it themselves or they have a, an office manager, a practice manager who's managing it, but they have so many balls up in the air that they can't quite handle all of those things. So I talked to a lot of office managers, a lot of physician owners, um, you know, head, head physicians in a part of a, a group that are looking for help with improving what they have existing online. So making adjustments, making changes, perhaps even time for a new website, you know, online themes and designs and ideas are changing almost as quickly as technology. And there's always something new and different that's out there. And so it's really important that you try to stay at the, at the cutting edge of what's happening because the consumer today, the patient, which is who you're servicing, they're constantly connected to the internet. I'm a little bit old school. I might not look it, but I still call it the internet. And everybody's online these days, you know, not only on their computers, but mostly on their phone. Um, and, and so they're looking for different services, including a physician. Um, so you really want to make sure that your online presence is represented and, and we can help make sure that those things are, are taken care of, not only on the front end with creating a website for you, but also then maintaining it, managing it, those types of things that maybe you had time for before, but your practice is growing and you don't quite have the bandwidth to make sure that your website is consistently performing for you. Um, a lot of people look at websites or, or maybe think of websites almost like a, a picture on the wall. It, it shows the information, you can see it, and that's great. When in actuality, it's more of a machine. It's designed to work for you and to generate traffic and patience to, to give you a call and to, to click that appointment request button. And we can really make sure that machine is performing optimally. 
So in that case, you know, we can refresh or create a new website that will perform better than the one that you have. The other line of, of clients that we tend to see, especially these days, we're seeing a lot of physicians, um, physician assistants, nurse practitioners that are actually branching out on their own. These bigger groups are actually breaking up into smaller groups and having a little bit more of that personal touch um, and, and with a lot of physician groups and doctor's offices getting more telehealth, telemed, you know, specific services out there. That was something that was an option before, but is even more so important these days for pre-screening or consultations and things like that. And that's really opened up a new market for different types of providers, more of your mid-level type providers. And with these new specialties and or new practices, and even some of the old ones that don't have an online presence, they're looking to get started online. And it's even more important today to do that because if you're not online, people probably can't find you. And here's the catch. Even if they know where you are and they've heard of you, they're still going to look you up online. I don't know about you guys, but for me, even if somebody recommends a restaurant, I'm going to Google it to see what their star rating is, to see what kind of food do they have? Are, are, am I going to like it? Even if my best friend says that's the best taco place you can go to, I'm still going to Google it. And it's the same thing with your doctor's office. You're gonna look up their reviews, you're gonna look up their website, you're gonna see what they do, and that's gonna provide that initial impression, that, that first impression of your practice, who you are, what you, could, what you can do, and how you can help the patient. So if you don't have that online representation that can really you know, hinder your practice and your practice growth. Um, as you can see here, more than 70% of healthcare consumers are looking for a physician online even if they've been recommended or referred to that physician. So it's really making sure that we establish that online presence, we capture that voice of who you are as a provider, which is very important because every provider is different. So we really make sure that we're capturing that voice of who you are and what you can do for the patient because that's really important these days. I think a lot of physicians and patients are looking for the same thing, that connection with their patient. We don't want to just have people going down the factory assembly line looking for care, you know, in a world that's ever changing and, and almost scarier by the minute with everything that's going on, you need that personal approach and that, that attention to detail. And it starts with who you are online and how you represent yourself and your, your services. So we really want to make sure we set that up, have that online presence, and then we take it a step further to expand your outreach and your growth. You can have the best looking website in the world, but if nobody can find it, they can't find you. And so we take that a step further with our, our uh, marketing services, our enhanced search engine optimization, social media representation. Social media has so much control over what people do and what they think about and what they, and what they buy. And having that voice on social media is as ever important. And it's just an extension of who you are and, and the services that you provide for your patients. So that's really what we see a lot of folks coming to us looking for that help to either refresh and update, you know, improve their existing site or start fresh or start a new website because it's, it's super important to represent yourself for, for the consumer and the patients out there. They wanna know who you are before they set foot through the door. Great, Scott, thanks a lot. Um, so with that, Shelnar, why don't we segue over to you, um, and and maybe you could start just by talking a little bit about your team, the 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 roles, the expertise that you have, and 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 how you like to engage with with your clients. Yeah, absolutely. So Scott and I and our team work really closely together. So there's a good handoff process right off from there. Um, and then, you know, what we really do is design performing websites along with the digital marketing services all around the healthcare industry. And so we have this team um, that works really closely with each client. Um, we have account managers, we have web developers, we have um, digital marketing specialists, you have a project manager. And we all work, again, really closely with our customer to really understand what their goals are, um, philosophy of care is, et cetera. Um, and then we will also work with you to create a campaign 
that is also very specific to uh, a, perhaps a specialty or a condition or a service that you're trying to promote and will create a mothership. So your website is your mothership and then these campaigns will link back to your website that will convert them into a patient. Excellent. Yes. My 4D. So how do we do that? Um, we do, we have this process, which I call my 4D. So the first one is your discovery. Um, we get on a call, we have a writer on that call, a project manager, an account uh, coordinator, and we create the pages for your website together. So it's gonna be a website with exactly what you want and the information that you want and how you want it in, in terms of tone and voice. We will also do a, a thorough keyword research um, as you have here so that we know um, the keywords that we want to write content around and we will optimize your website for those keywords. Then we go into design. So we'll work with you to develop a unique uh, custom website or a templated website mock-up, but you are able to choose a theme. Um, even if you choose a theme, we work with you to create it so that it looks like your practice, your website, it's still customized. So we'll pick out your colors. We write all the content for you. We optimize the site for you based around those keywords. Um, if you have one of our marketing services, we'll make sure that we are creating those social posts. You're reviewing them, approving them, and making sure that you're happy with everything and that this is how you want to represent your practice. Once we have approval on that, then we go over to our uh, development phase. And here we will develop the website pages, we'll write your blog articles, we'll again develop those um, social media pages, um, and then schedule the posts and kind of go through that whole development process. And again, you're gonna have a project manager that walks you through each of these phases. So you'll know when we need your approval on something and when that next step is going to be. Once it's all been developed, you've reviewed it, you love it, then we go through a deployment or a go live phase. Um, we'll walk through the site together, we'll capture any copy changes that you may have. Again, um, we always customize all the photography that's included, we'll go through photography with you. Um, and then we do a quality assurance test, so we'll test it on multiple devices, uh, multiple browsers, Again, our sites are mobile friendly, mobile responsive, so we go through that process as well. And then we go live with the website, um, and then uh, we'll take you through training as well. Great, thank you, Shalimar. You know, one one thing I'll share, just sort of from my vantage point, uh, we we looked at any number of different. Um, uh, marketing or website agency type companies and uh, one of the things that really impressed us about iHealthSpot and, and, and Shalimar and her team in, in particular is there, there are any number of agencies available that are doing websites across the board so maybe it's a website for a liquor store a dry cleaner a gas station and and now a you know, a gastroenterology practice, you know, it's very difficult to get really good in any of those lanes if, if you're focused all over the place. Um, another thing that Shalimar's team brings is we, we only do websites and marketing support for medical practices. That, that, that's all we do. So there's a, a lot of experience, there's a lot of content, there's a, a, a lot of expertise that, that we bring to bear. The second thing I'll say, and, and Shalimar touched on this, is you know we, we don't want to be, and this is aligned with Medical Advantage, some nameless, faceless corporation distant that you never see or talk to. Um, just like we engage with our practices when we're helping optimize a EHR platform or helping to streamline the revenue cycle workflow. Right? We are in your practice uh, working hand in hand almost as an extension of your team and that's consistent with the, the same kind of teaming approach uh, with, with iHealthSpot. So with that, uh, why don't we take a minute now, Shalimar, and um, have, have you take us through a couple of examples, so, you know, seeing is believing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, I'd love to. 
So this particular client, um, what we have up here right now is actually um, an old website, an archive website, so that's why we can't see the logo, but they were originally called the Center for Hearing and Speech. Um, and one of their goals was to rebrand um, to the Texas Hearing Institute. They wanted to focus on pediatric audiology, um, they have a school, and they also wanted to really focus on donations and fundraising. So this is what their site looked like before. And then I'll show you where we are now. I'm gonna go ahead and actually do a little refresh here. So we rebranded it to Texas Hearing Institute. Um, the colors are a lot more uh, vibrant and modern. And because fundraising and making a donation was such an important thing for them, your eye really goes to that donate now button. And we were asked to make that very prominent and have that on every page. Um, and I think that we did that very well. You also have your request and appointment. Um, and then you have your services here that are very easy to find they're organized in a way that parents can go here and find um, resources information about the school that they have etc and i'll scroll down you guys can see how nice it turned out and all of these graphics and photography came directly from the client um, they wanted it to, to be really custom um, they had photography, they had that. So um, the graphics too correlate with some of the designs in the classrooms and different sections when you actually go to the building. And I, I like it because I think it's kid friendly, but it isn't, um, you know, it still appeals to the, to the parents, to adults as well. And you can see one of our interior pages here. So again, we have that donate now button always on every page, request an appointment on every page. Um, you're able to change the language on this site and access everything from here. Excellent, Shalimar, thank you. I, I love all the movement and the motion um on on the pages as well that that's really that's great um okay so with that why don't we segue and uh, move into some questions okay again thanks shalimar um let's we, we've got a few questions that have come in so let's get through uh, as many as we can uh let's see just to kind of paraphrase we've got a couple of questions that i think are all along the same lines um, how much does a typical website project cost? How long does it take? Um, Scott, maybe you could take a shot at that. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Um, so to answer those questions, it, it depends. Um, we, we offer a lot of different options, um, and that's one thing that, that I really love about our products is, is it, it, it really can be customized to, to what you need as a provider and, and you know, what your needs are in terms of marketing. Um, we offer two different types of, of websites. We have our Provider Plus website, which is a themed website that follows one of our preset templates um, that you can choose from depending on the layout that you that you are um, you know that you like. And then what we do is we take that layout um, and fill it with your custom copy, custom content that we write, images that you provide, like Shalimar just showed, or images that we can license on your behalf. The other option when it comes to our websites is our fully customized websites. And when you get into the fully customized websites, the sky is the limit in terms of what we can do with design and layout. So when you're dealing with the, the, the more themed templated design, um, you're looking at somewhere around six weeks um, time wise. Um, when you get into the more custom websites, depending on the size and the scale, we average around eight to 10 weeks on the production side. Um, and like Shalomar said, we're with you every step of the way, Bill, I think you alluded to that as well. And so there's an approval process. When we put something together, we, we connect with you to approve on that. So as, you know, depending on how that process takes, you know, changes the timeline, but, you know, we try to, to fit within that window. 
Um, Price-wise, again, it depends on the size of the site and the type of site. Um, our, our templated Provider Plus websites uh, start around $19.99 for the build, um, and then our custom websites, you know, up up to you know $34, $3,500, um, and up depending on the size. So just kind of depending on the range. But if, if you're looking for additional information, if you're looking for something to fit specifically to you, I'd be happy to connect with you, you know, offline and, and discuss more in detail. Great, thank you, Scott. Next is a question around, um, will I be able to make my own changes? So I think this is a common uh, question, right? Once the website is delivered, is the client completely beholden to Shalimar's team now and forever? Uh, so Shalimar, maybe you can answer that one. Yeah, absolutely. So the answer is yes. You can definitely make your own changes. The uh, Your website will be built uh, in a content management system where you will have a nice dashboard. You can log in there. Um, you can make your copy edits. We do also have a support team and a support department. So if for whatever reason you didn't want to make your own changes, you didn't feel comfortable making your own changes, we also have a support team and a support department. You can email them, call them, and they'll help you out as well. And that's true also, um, let's say a, a practice has a, a form or a PDF for a patients or uh, videos is another example. Can, can you talk to that a little bit? Absolutely. So yeah, same thing through the content management system. You'll be able to log in and access that manager and you can upload PDF files. You can embed your YouTube videos. If you have a patient testimonial video, we get a lot of those. Those are great. Um, or sometimes we have some provider videos. They're explaining a procedure. Um, we can, you guys can go in there and embed those um, uh, patient forms. Those you can embed as long as those are PDFs, you can embed those. Lots of you, you, you really have a lot of options. And and don't worry, if you make a mistake, we can fix it. Yeah. A lot of people <laughs> are scared about that. We do nightly backups. So if you click a button and things go kablooey, we can put it back together for you. <laughs> very good, very good. All right, the next, we've got a couple questions related to Google Analytics or May, instead of taking that one narrowly, maybe Shalmar, you could just talk a little bit about reporting in general and, sure. and the dashboard we provide. Sure. So all of our sites come with the basic search engine optimization, which isn't so basic. You, all of your pages are optimized. They're up to date. They're always up to date. Um, and then you will have a, a, a section on your dashboard uh, that says analytics. You click on that and you'll be able to actually see real-time analytics because we have set up a Google Analytics account that we've hooked up and it's pulling in data from Google Analytics into your dashboard, into your website. So all you have to do is log in as if you were going to make changes to your site, click on analytics and you'll be able to see your conversions, how many appointments you had that month. Um, if you have our enhanced SEO service, then we actually will be providing um, a consultation, a monthly consultation with uh, keyword ranking reports. So you will actually be able to see how your keywords are ranking, um, whether they've gone up, they've gone down, and what kind of blog articles you want to do for the next month. Okay, great. Um... Just to keep to time, I think we'll we'll start to move on. There are a few questions here we didn't get to. I, I promise we will take these offline, um, but thank you for, for submitting your questions. I, I want to talk about a promotion that we're doing uh, in conjunction with the Medical Society. Um, this is a promotion around a website assessment or analysis. This is typically, when, when we're meeting a new client, this is often our, our, our first step is we've got a utility that we can run with your existing website, and it, it gives us basically a scorecard or a report card by a, across a number of different categories, and it's often a good place to, to start together. It might be silly things like, uh, you know, you don't have a phone number for your practice. Well, that could be a problem or, you know, misspelled words maybe or, or titles on, on pages that are, are out of alignment 
uh, to more severe things like uh, directory listings or support for mobile devices, as Scott said, more and more, you know, most of the traffic, according to the analytics, is going to reveal uh, much of your traffic is coming from mobile devices. So um, this is something that we're offering up to any of you on the line today who, who would be interested in that. No obligation. Uh, we, we can run the tool and then set up some time to talk through it with you, um, as, as well as uh, discounted services uh, should you choose to engage with us. All right, as we start to wrap up, um, if we could just quickly go to the next slide. I, I wanted to share the contact information of Scott and Shalimar if, if you've got specific questions or would like to set up some time uh, to just, just to talk and learn more, their, their information is there. Um, I also want to say as soon as we end this broadcast, you'll see a, a survey that comes up on your screen. If you would please just take a moment, give us some feedback. These are like point and click answers, should take just a minute. We would, we would greatly appreciate your feedback. So with that, I think that wraps us up. Um, first of all, Scott, Shalimar, thanks for your time. Great job today. Appreciate the help. Thank you, Bill. Um, Thank pleasure. you. Uh, for our, our friends at the Medical Society of Virginia and, and all the, the members that have joined us today, thank you for uh, giving us some time. We hope you found this session useful, and we hope to see you again at a, at a session again in, in the future. So thanks a lot, and enjoy the rest of your day.